these boys have actually fought before and Tommy Tommy lost to him on decision last time so these to, Tommy actually asked for this fight it's time to get this thing going so let's see how we go in this one we've got three two minute rounds both boys are going to be using a lot of kicks and a lot of uh, punching from this point let's see how they go notice there that uh, Jake has his leg heavily strapped on that back leg so you must be carrying a little bit of an injury but that, that must be just something oh very nice kick from them I'm just going to check the gloves quickly let's see how these boys go let's see if they go back to the basics both of them very exciting eh? well, one interesting fact while these boys kind of find their range on each other is that uh, Tommy actually gives up about 8 kgs to, Tom, uh, to Jake Bush um, as um, Tommy's a lighter fighter at 42 kgs and Jake actually weighs 50 kgs and see how these boys fare. Tommy's definitely got a lot of heart, and so does Jake. Oh, brilliant combination from Tom backing out and getting out the way. Oh, both fighters are going to exchange. I reckon this is going to get a little bit ugly in the last rounds. We'll see how it goes. Lovely, lovely kick from Tom. Look for the grapple. They're going to just break under the rules. Let's have a look. This is Tom, Tom's first time performing in the Shuriken cage. So he's looking really good. Oh, brilliant counter kick from Jake there. Jake obviously having a little bit more reach than Tom does with a bit of longer arms and longer legs. Brilliant combo, and then Tom goes in for the clinch. Let's see if we can get this crowd into this fight because it's a really good, good counter by Tom. Very well. Oh, Tom bucks up and then does the grapple. Let's have a look. Brilliant combo and counter from Jake there. Looking very, very fluent. He's using that reach very, very well. You see he's throwing those kicks out. Oh, unfortunately, it does happen in the fight game. Jake just caught, got caught right in the nether region. It looks like he's in just a little bit of discomfort there. I think it was uh, probably very square at the time. That's right, time's back on and we're about to go again. See if Tommy capitalizes on that. Jake's going to use that reach, and Tommy counters in very quickly. Very, very nice. We've got 10 seconds left. Tommy's going in for it. He's chasing him. He's putting pressure on him, and there's a big flurry of punches for both fighters, both connecting very nicely. That was a very, very good round from round one. Right, and we're getting into round two. So what you'd be having a look at is, is if the coaches are talking, you'd be telling, oh, brilliant combo from Tommy there. He just definitely going back in with the strikes. So what you'd be doing is, uh, as a coach of either of them, you'd be telling you'd be telling Jake to use a bit of that reach, use a bit of that length and strike. Oh, brilliant combo by Tommy there. Jake definitely seems like he's got his hands a bit full this time. Tommy's definitely been practicing a lot on uh, his striking and his moving in and out. So that's very, very good from both boys. Tommy's definitely, definitely the fighter that's actually pushing the tempo a little bit in this round. He's obviously realised he needs to do a little bit more. Probably rushing Jake a little bit more. He's used to fighting with his head. Oh, brilliant connection. Great combo there. Oh. A cheeky little kick to the head from Tom there. He's really good to get, get up there. Great flexibility and dexterity. He's definitely... Oh, brilliant combo counter over the top there to break. Oh, Tommy takes a couple on their side and then counters quick and thing. nice combos from both fighters. Oh, nice heavy leg kicks from Jake there. As Terry Hill breaks them apart. He's looking at which way these fighters are going to go. Having a look at Tommy, he's looking to rush back in a little bit and he, he must be careful of that because he could get caught by one of those counter punches or a leg kick as he has before. Tommy's corner's calling for the, the overhand, the overhand right. Tommy's working on those leg kicks. He's, both fighters are going tight in it. Oh, Tommy catches one right to the side of the face and just walks straight through. Wow, didn't even flinch, didn't even phase him. Wow, what a kick. Seems like Jake is still nursing a bit of that injury from the, the kick to the groin earlier. They got 10 seconds left, 10 seconds left, and the Jake thinks that that was at the end of the round, and Tommy just capitalizes on that and just carries on going and swinging. Oh, brilliant combo from Tommy and good capitalization. Well done. Wow. Definitely that round, I'd have to give it to Tommy there. He definitely stepped it up a little bit more. Ate the kicks, ate the punches and walked through it. We now have the third and final round of these two boys. Let's see how they go. Hey, both boys, I'd actually call it even one round apiece. 
Let's see how these boys go. What you'll be doing is be telling Tommy to do the same thing as what he did last time. Go in, try and box from the inside, try and work that. Whereas um, Jake Gibby, you would have told to maybe go with a little bit more of the distance, work, work that reach, work that the, yeah, work those kicks. And Tommy just eats one straight to the face, but doesn't stop him. Just keeps walking straight through it. Wow, what a kick to the jaw that would have put most people down. Wow, Tommy has an incredible chin. Let's have a look and see where these fighters go. Jake seems to favor that front kick. Oh, Tommy eats another one to the face. Wow. Jake seems to have a lot of kicks if Tommy's walking in and Tommy's just got to actually look to slip that kick, maybe block it and walk straight in. Let's see what Tom does. Tom doesn't put his hands up and he eats another kick to the side of the face. Wow, how many of these can he take? Let's have a look and see what happens from here. You're looking at Tom. Tom's now actually a bit weary on walking in. You can see he's just trying to judge it, trying to walk. Catches an overhand right and Tommy's firing back with the overhand rights too. And he's pushed him up against the fence and now he's blocking him. Waiting for that kick, that kick's coming. Oh, Tommy eats a massive one in the face and just keeps standing. Wow, what a chin. Can't take any more of those. Look how low his hands are. Honestly, he needs to put his hands up and stop getting kicked in the face. Let's see what happens from here. They're in the clinch. Terry Hill calls for the break there. The boys have got a break. Wow, this is a close round. Tommy needs to, needs to block a few of those. Walks straight in. Starts boxing. Both boys need. Both boys look tired. Jake looks like he's had a fair bit of it. Tommy looks like he's still. Oh, and Tommy just eats a massive right to the face. I must be. I must be honest. I'm really impressed with Tommy's chin. It's held up quite a bit tonight. And got 10 seconds left in the round. Let's see what happens. Jake throws that front kick and a front punch, and Tommy just keeps walking forward. Wow. And that is the end of the fight. I must admit, if I have to look at that and I have to call it, I'll give it one round apiece after the first two rounds. But in that third round, Tommy ate too many head kicks to the face and didn't respond enough to those counters. I actually think, right, we got the, the judge's decision now. Let's listen to Dan Hennessy as he gives it a go. Well done to both of these boys. They put their hearts on the line, eh? 15 and seven, uh, for both of them 15. So let's see how they go from there.